and welcome to more! The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap! Today, it is time to find the source of the flow. There's just one thing I want to do before we go there. So in the last episode, I unlocked a fusion that opened up a waterfall right here, and I kind of forgot to go inside and collect the reward. The thing is, inside here is going to be 200 mysterious shells. So the plan was to, last episode, get a whole bunch of figurines, knock down my mysterious shell counter a bit, and then come get this. I went, I got a bunch of figurines, and then I forgot to grab this afterwards, so whoops. But we'll get it in just a minute. I'm actually going to go and dump all of my mysterious shells on figurines. I know I, I know I normally do them at the end of the episode, but we're going to get a lot of mysterious shells today, and I just want to dump, like, all my crud. I'm just going to pay the maximum price, get 100% chances. Uh, for anyone who's not been watching the figurine segments, we're down to about 40-ish left to go, and we're down to the point where it's, like, 25%, something like that. 26% uh, each. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spend as many as possible and we'll just go ahead and get that 100% chance. Like I said, we're gonna get a lot of new mysterious shells today. So I'll just do as many as I can with the shells that I have and then we'll go get that 200 shell chest and then we'll go find the source of the flow. So we know this is gonna be a new one and it is. Okay, it's gonna be a door mimic. Appears in the royal crypt. They look like doors, but they're really traps. If you get too close to one, it will fall down on you. So I won't make you guys watch me put the shells in every time. I'll just meet you again when we get the new uh, figurine. And here we have the golden Octorok. Appears in, well, we're not sure. The legendary golden Octorok, it can't be confirmed, but they are said to shoot chunks of pure gold. Man, I could've been making money all this time. We fought multiple of these guys. Gina, a strange genie who wants to fuse kinstone pieces, which is somewhat peculiar for a monster. She has a lot of pieces, so keep on fusing. We only had to fuse twice. One thing I do want to mention is that if you hold down the R button while you're doing this, if you hold down R and you press up, it'll go up 10% at a time instead of going up 1% at a time, so you can much more quickly get to that 100%. Kuko, with a boisterous crow and a cute crest, these feathered friends are the most popular pets in Hyrule. The baby chicks like small bugs. At Lon Lon Ranch, this small ranch lies just outside Hyrule Town. Father and daughter team Talon and Malin run it, and they sell the finest milk in Hyrule. Library. This town Minish Elder is Gintari's twin brother. Those large wings that he is so proud of are trophies from a duel with Akuko as a young Minish. Monster Lady. A weird old lady living in Percy's house without his permission. She doesn't want you to turn on the lights. She might actually be a... A moblin! Lever. Appears in Wind Ruins, Veil vale Falls. These baddies move freely underground when attacking. You never know where they will pop up, so keep your shield raised and at the ready. Mayor Hagen, the mayor of the town of Hyrule. He's a big collector of odd masks. He's built a shelter into his garden just in case monsters ever attack Hyrule. <laughs> like that would ever happen. Spiny Choo Choo appears in various areas. These Choo Choo's protect spikes or project spikes from their bodies at the first sign of danger. Try a well placed bomb or just a. Uh, Bonk them with your shield, that works too. Alrighty, that's all we can afford, so let's go back out and let's get those 200 mysterious shells. And after that, I want to head up to the Hyrule Garden, because we can actually go down to the dojo and fuse with the dude inside there, so we're gonna do that as well. But now let's go inside here, which, that looks kind of weird. Let's go ahead and grab this crud. I'll just go meet you guys in the garden. And here we are, let's go down this ladder, so we can go inside. We've got a Grimblade inside here, and we can fuse with this guy. So, let's go get that crud done. We have to use a red tooth jagged one right there, whatever you want to call that. And let's see what we get as a reward, dude. So this one is going to open up a waterfall, and this is over in Vale Falls, so we'll have to go head over there and check this one out. We also got a treasure chest unlocked from a fusion uh, in Vale Falls yesterday, so hopefully we can collect that today as well. So this one's going to be pretty low down. So let's go back to Lon Lon Ranch. That is going to be one way to access uh, Vale Falls, so I'll meet you guys in Lon Lon Ranch. And uh, we'll go get that crud. Here we are, and I've got my cane out. I'm going to be using the cane quite a lot today, but we'll go ahead and boost through that hole and go to Vale Falls. We've actually been here before. We got a heart piece here a while ago, but now that we can actually swim, we can go and check out this crud. Actually, we've swam here as well. There was a mole, a mole uh, mitt cave at some point. But inside here, we've got ourselves another dojo. The spirit and the sword are one. I am the nearly best swordsman in Hyrule, Split Blade. If you train with me, you will discover the secrets of your hidden power. So, would you like to train here? Uh, yes, please. Mm, now I will teach you to fill your... Or, blah, blah. Now I will teach you how to fill your split gauge faster than ever. I take visualization training very seriously, I'll have you know. Now quietly close your eyes. How can I loudly close my eyes? Visualize your body splitting even faster than ever before. Woohoo! Splitting! Okay. Now, I mean, this guy totally looks like a Legolas. A lot of these guys kind of do, but this one, it just he's blonde straight up. This is a Legolas right here. Now you will fill your split gauge much faster, my student. This is the truth of the sword, and truth is almost the exact opposite of not truth. 
I just want to know how the crud did this guy know about the split sword. But all right, dude, we raise our hands with joy, I guess. Now we can split a little bit faster, which is actually very, very handy. As you can see, that gauge fills up way quicker now. So when we do want to split, we don't have to sit around waiting for so long. And also, you might have noticed we can swim faster now as well from the joy butterfly we got in the last episode. But with that, guys, well, you might have guessed it. The source of the flow is going to be in Vale Falls, but it actually is in that northern part of Vale Falls up there, which we can't get to from here. I also just got hit by an Octorok again. Oh, gosh. So what we're going to do is go back to North Hyrule Field, and we're going to go to the north uh, east part. There's actually a part of this place that we could have gone to as soon as we got bombs, but I just never went over here because we never needed to, but now we do. So we're going to go up over this way. Hopefully not get hit by these weak enemies. Let's go get out our remote bombs, and let's blow that crud up. <laughs> get a beetle out of that one. All right, so there we go. We've got ourselves another entrance into Vale Falls, and up here we can very easily go into the water and get ourselves a nice little heart piece. There we go. You might notice another enemy at the top right. We'll get to that in a minute. Over here, we've got a moment cave that we can't get to right now, so we'll have to get that one later on. So let's go up this way. And right over here, guys, it's a little wall thing. Wow, look at the size of that waterfall. Beautiful, simply beautiful, my boy. Let's go up and we can actually fuse with this. This is the source of the flow. Yeah, they just come out and say it. So let's go ahead and use that golden kinstone piece. The two kinstone pieces fit together perfectly, of course. And of course, this one is going to uh, do, do something nice for us. When I first did this, I thought I would do something with the waterfall because Ezla just commented on the waterfall, but no, it's a stone door. So this is what they meant by all that source of the flow business. Well, this waterfall certainly is the source of all Hyrule's water. According to King Gustav, the final element lies somewhere behind the falls. We've dawned long enough, Link. Let's go find that element. And they're just going to keep talking to Ezlo. Of course, the source of the flow. He meant Vale Springs. I wonder what lies up ahead. Well, we know it's connected to the element, so let's go, Link. All right, Ezlo, let's go. Inside here, it's going to be kind of dark. And there's going to be some keys. There's going to be a bunch of holes in the floor. And actually, during my test run of this, I kind of found a minor glitch that I want to show you guys about. So these broken floors, if you stand on them and pull out your lantern just as you're about to fall, you actually kind of get stuck. Just like that. So I was supposed to fall, I'll get stuck. And then a couple seconds later... There we go. I don't know why that happens, but it's a little glitch that I found while I was uh, preparing this episode. Now down here, we've got ourselves a new enemy. This is a wisp. And these guys are not dangerous at all. They're kind of like beetles. If they hit you, you're not going to be able to do anything for a while. But unlike beetles, we can't just shake them off. These guys, you do have to wait 10 seconds. And while it's on us, we can't roll. We can't use our sword or anything like that. But it's really just not that big of a deal. The only thing is we can't kill them with our sword. We have to use something else. So we could use our boomerang, we could use our bow, we could use the gust jar. Let's go ahead and use the boomerang for this one. So they're really not that big of a deal, but they are kind of annoying, I guess. So right over here, let's go ahead and get out our bombs. Go blow up this spot. Let's go check it out, dude. Inside, we've got ourselves a nice little chest. This is going to have 50 mysterious shells. Go ahead and chop these cruds down and get some more rupees that we don't need at all. And uh, get back up into the darkness. Let's go get that lantern out. And oh no, it's a genie! Go ahead and slash that guy. Got a little trickle of water right there. That's pretty fancy. Keep on going up. And now we've got ourselves a little room with some push puzzle action. Oh gosh, levers, dude. Oh geez. We'll go ahead and kill these guys off. Now, we can't actually split using this, this pad to push this one over to the right. So what we're going to have to do is split and push this one down. Let's get this guy out of here. Gosh dang it. And then we have to get over to that right pad and use that one to push the other one. So anyways, let's go ahead and split here. Use our faster split gauge. There we go. Push this guy right on down. And now we can go through this exit if we want. Right over here, we got ourselves a chest with more mysterious shells. You can kind of see why I decided to dump all those mysterious shells. We've got a whole lot here today. So we can push some crud here, just like that. Oh, let's push this one to the left. And that'll let us go up that way. So let's go ahead and split once again. And just like that, we can now go up and push this one over. There we go. Let's go back down. So that's all this was, just a little secret path. Get this light back on. And let's go back to the main path here. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to break these pots again just in case I might get a heart. No. I actually don't even know if the pots will restore their contents that quickly. But we'll go ahead and break all those. And let's go down here. I'm not going to bother killing that wisp again. And here we've got another new enemy. These are rock choo-choos. And they are absolute jokes. So these guys, well, they've got these rock heads. But the thing is, 
<laughs> well, first off, these guys can just kill them for you, which is ridiculous. But we have the Rock Breaker Tiger Scroll right over here. So we can just swing at the head and the rock is broken. You're almost certainly going to have that Tiger Scroll at this point in the game. And once you break the rocket, it's just a regular red choo-choo. So they're really no more threatening than a regular red choo-choo. You can also just throw a bomb at them that'll one-shot them as well. So yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Over here, we got ourselves a blue like like. We'll go ahead and kill that guy. And it looks like there's like, a secret path down here, but I really don't think there's anything down that way. I'm going to go ahead and get out my bow and arrow just so I can actually kill these guys. Because they're kind of cramping my style. There we go. And that path at the bottom right, it's somewhere we've already been in a previous episode, so don't worry about that, crud. Let's just go climb up this wall. Kind of wish one of the joy butterflies we got would let us climb a little bit faster, but oh well. So over here, we've got ourselves yet another wind crest. So there is a new spot for us to warp to. That's pretty awesome right there. And here is a chest that we unlocked from a fusion, I think in the last episode, like near the end of the last episode. Here we got ourselves a blue kinstone piece. Yeah, I don't really need that, but oh well. Let's go ahead and break all these rocks. Got my bombs probably fully restored by now, and getting lots more mysterious shells. Okay. Now, I, while I've been collecting figurines, I've kind of been very stingy with them and only doing one at a time. I think once we get to the lower percentages like we are now, I've kind of had a change of a change of thought, or a, a change of mindset. So, it is true, mathematically speaking, it is optimal to always spend one at a time, uh, but I think you're going to be better off spending more than one at a time just maxing it out once you get near the end also we could dive down here to get rupees in these different ponds but i was thinking a lot about this it takes so long to roll one chance at the figurines so what we could probably do is just like farm rupees go and buy more mysterious shells and then spend 100 to get the maximum chance faster than we could try like 50 times to try to get one so once the chance gets really low i think it's probably better to spend a whole lot so i think that's what i'll do for the last handful that we still need Anyways, in this room right here, we've got a lot of different paths we could take. We've got that staircase, we've got this exit, we've got this ladder, and remember this ladder for a bit later, because uh, one of the paths will loop back around to that ladder. But the first thing I want to open up is this little wall right here. Let's go ahead and blow that guy wide open. Okay, and we'll go inside and get ourselves a little treasure chest, and uh, what's it going to be? You guessed it, more mysterious shells. Yeah, we were down to less than 100, we're already back over 400 right now. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and take this top right path, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Grab a kinstone there. Yeah, let's go up this way. And over here, you can see we've got another split path. We're going to have a door right there. Get ourselves a fairy. Uh, let's go ahead and get out the gust jar to deal with these guys a little bit better. So we'll take that guy's mask off. Pick him up. And these guys, we could very easily just suck up with that crud. I guess I could suck up the rupees as well. But let's get this guy killed before I go back to the sword. And there we go. Let's get that sword back out. So we'll pick this up. We got ourselves 100 rupees that I don't really need. And at the bottom left here, this is going to loop back around to that ladder I was just telling you guys about. So that's all that does. That is the exact same path as before. I don't know why they give us so many different paths to choose from here, but that's nah, not such a big deal. You know what? I should show you guys the other exit over this way real quick, just so you, uh, just so you uh, aren't confused by it. So this bottom right one actually just takes us right back outside. So it takes us right back to where that wind crest was. So I jumped down there, and that's how I got there instead. But if you want, you can just go directly in from right there. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of paths that lead here. But what we want to do is take this right staircase, and then take that right exit right there. And that'll actually lead us to where we need to be. But just like that. There we go. We can now climb up this crud and go to a new area. We've got Veil Springs. Some weird-looking crud swaying in the background. But don't worry about that. I'm sure that's not important for anything. And up here... We've got a giant tornado thing. Why do we hear some kind of vortex? Well, we seem to have hit a dead end. What shall we do from here? As so, though <laughs> you already know what we're about to do. So let's go hop right inside this crutter. And of course, that's going to boost us up. And now we're in another new area. Cloud tops. Aw, yeah. Am I still alive? Mm -hmm. Link, what were you thinking, child? You just reaped the whirlwind, as they say. We could be dead right now. Mm -hmm. But I must admit, it did the trick. Are we in the land above the clouds? Then there must be something here that can lead us to the final element. Let's go find it. Okay, or we could talk to this random person that's in a cloud right now. Wah! You surprised me. Normally, surface dwellers can't walk in the clouds like we do. My sister and I went to the Bikori Festival in Hyrule Town, and when we came back, there were monsters everywhere. I bet if I could just fuse a kinstone, I could call a good homeward wind. But there are monsters about, so I can't search for kinstones. And even if I could, I still can't find anyone to fuse with. But you look pretty strong. Do you think you could maybe search for kinstones for me? If you do, I'll tell you about a good spot for fusing. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and do a fusion right here. 
So let's go down, use a green square and infuse with Haley. And we'll see what we get for this one. Yeah, gonna be quite a lot of fusions today. Even though we're actually making story progress, still quite a lot of fusions. This one will open up one back by that wind crest, and this one's going to be a golden tech tight. Oh gosh, these guys are big pains in the butts, but oh well. I also just realized we're pretty deep into this episode already, and we've still got a lot to go, so this might be a long one, guys, but uh, buckle in, because we're going to do all of this Cloud Tops area today. So let's go ahead and talk to this other character. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, hey, wow, look at that. I've never seen a surface dweller walk on clouds before. You must be quite pure of heart. Maybe one such as you would listen to my tale of woo. You see, I went down to the surface with my sister for the Pokori Festival, but on our way home, we lost the wind entirely. Now we can't get home. Uh-oh. I guess I should just fuse with you. They're thinking of a heart right here, and they want a red wedge. This is Gale. So we'll go ahead and fuse with them. And for this one, we're going to get some fancy crud. This one's going to go open up a waterfall back in Vale Falls. And this one is pretty near to the Windcrest as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and warp back to the Windcrest and collect both of these rewards real quick. Now, right over here, we do have a random golden kinstone. We can actually fuse it as well, Mysterious Cloud, but we don't have the kinstone to use there. And you might have noticed there's a weird looking red tornado right there. So we'll come back to that. But real quick, let's go get those rewards uh, near the Windcrest. So I'll just go ahead and call up Zepha. And let's go right on down over here. And here we are. And right away, I'm going to get out my boomerang so we can deal with this golden tektite. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Get him. There we go. So I, I like to swing twice, throw the boomerang, swing twice, throw the boomerang, and just repeat. As long as we do this, they're not that big of a deal, especially if we get them trapped on a wall. Pretty convenient there. There we go. Let's keep doing that until we get like 20 hits or however many hits it takes. Come on. Die, you crud. There we go. Get ourselves 100 rupees that we don't need. Now let's go down here, and this is where the waterfall opened up. So we'll go right inside. If I can. <laughs> there we go. And get ourselves a heart piece, or piece of heart, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. Looking pretty good. We're now up to 16 hearts. But with that, guys, we don't really need to do anything else here. So I'm going to go back through this cave and go back up to that big vortex and go back to the cloud top. So I'll just meet you guys up there. Alrighty, guys, let's go on our cloud top adventure. So we have to find that golden kinstone so we can fuse with this mysterious cloud. So the only thing we can do is go inside this weird red vortex. And for doing that, it's going to boost us even higher into the clouds. And here, we're going to have a bunch of clouds we can actually dig. Now, in the last episode, we got a joy butterfly. And as I showed in that uh, in the last episode, when you dig on the ground, it doesn't really speed you up. But when you're digging through walls, it will make you go so much faster. So I definitely recommend get that joy butterfly before you come to this area. Even if you're not someone who's going for all the fusions, I would still get it before you come here because it really speeds things up. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a golden kinstone piece. But guys, there is not going to be one mysterious cloud to fuse with. There is going to be five. So we have to find five different golden kinstones to uh, fuse with. Now down there, it looks like there's a tornado. We actually can't jump into that crud, but we can go down this way and drop down to a different level. So the way this area is going to work is we're going to go up and down, back and forth through these different areas. Right here, we've got ourselves a new enemy. This is a cloud piranha. We actually can't hit them when they're in the ground. We can only hit them when they jump out. But thankfully, there's a trick. If we use the uh, cane right there, we can make them jump out whenever we want. And there's a little tactic I like to do. What I like to do is let them get a little bit away from me. And then crud jump down. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm trying to show it off. So what we can do is we can use the cane like that. And then we can do a roll attack. Not exactly showing it very well. You crud, cooperate with me. Jump over me. Yeah. So I'll just do that. Roll and spin. Just like that. So you kind of have to practice a little bit to actually line that up. But it works really well if you can get it. So let's go through that red tornado. We're back at the top level here. And now we've got some more crud. So I'm going to be switching a lot between the cane and the moments in this area. I don't even know if I... Ooh, red kinstone piece. I don't even know if I need to do fast forward digging because it's so fast now. But you know what? I'll, I'll still fast forward it. Why not? So we've got a tornado we can go in. But I'm not going to jump into that one yet. I want to drop down here. And in this area, there's going to be a mysterious cloud to fuse with. So let's go do that crud. And thankfully, this is the golden kinstone that we have. So there's going to be different shapes for different golden kinstones we find here. So we kind of have to match the right kinstone to the right cloud. Thankfully, this one's just fine. And for getting that first one, it will make one of these pinwheels start to spin. So we have to do four more to get them all spinning. So let's go back up this way. And this area is a little bit confusing. So I'm definitely going to be checking my map throughout just to show you guys where we're going. I don't know why we have a map of this place, but we do. So... Directly south of us, there's an area we can go to, but that's going to be just basically backtracking. That's where we just came from. So what I want to do is go to the left. So we're going to hop into this thing and go to the left here. And these things are fast. This is way faster than the flying we've done in the past. 
We want to land right over here. And let's drop down this hole next. Inside here, we've got to deal with a couple of these piranha guys, so let's go get the cane back out. Now, another thing you could do, you could just charge up a spin attack, and as soon as they jump at you, boom, you could do that. But it's pretty hard to time, as you can see. Honestly, most things you could do with these guys are pretty hard to time, whether it's using the cane or doing that crud. One thing you could do as well is you could do... Wow, that guy almost jumped off the cliff. You actually can make them jump, just like that. You can make them jump off the cliff if you want to, but it can be kind of hard to do as well. I like to just do this, and just like that. But you could equip the boomerang and the cane, Make them jump out with the cane and then throw the boomerang at them and then swap back your sword. I find that's a little bit tedious to do, but you could. Uh, or you could just use the boomerang and throw it when they jump out. But again, it's kind of hard to time. A lot of stuff with those guys is just hard timing. So it just takes a bit of practice to learn to deal with those dudes. But all right, let's do some more fast forward digging. And with the digging done, let's go take a look at the map right here. So it looks like there's an area to the south and slightly to the east that we can go to, but it's actually blocked off. So what we need to do is go to the top left area. So let me go ahead and uh, jump into this. I can show you guys the blockage right over there. So when there's clouds blocking it like that, we can't go inside. So we're going to have to go the other way. Back it up, Link. There you go. So now let's see if we can work our way back this way. We'll go ahead and get another boost right here. And we'll boost off of this one. And then we'll go all the way to the top left. Sneak in just like that and grab ourselves another golden kinstone piece and more digging. You know what? This is such a small patch. We don't even need to fast forward this one. Let's dig through it real quick. Not really a lot of reason to dig through a lot of these, but some spots like this right here. Well, first off, they can drop kinstones, these clouds. But also there's some spots like right here where there's some chest hiding. So I don't know. I just I've dug every spot we've seen throughout the playthrough so far. We're so close to the end of the game. I'm not going to stop now. So there we go. Go ahead and grab that crud. And the next spot we want to go to, once again, we'll open the map, is just below us. So we have to just go straight down. So we'll jump in here. And I'm just going to hold straight down. And we can actually see this blocked off, but we can just go right around it just like that. And we've got another hole to drop in, so let's go down. And we're going to have another new enemy here in just a second. Let's go ahead and knock down all these uh, little cloud bits real quick. But up here, we've got another kind of pathetic enemy. We've got a few pathetic new enemies today. This is Lakitu. What he will do is shoot these electric bolts at you. And that's about it. He doesn't move. He just kind of sits there. And if we actually get close to him, look at. Well, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and zap us, I guess. But if we get close, this is all that happens. We can just walk right by him if we want to. But he has a major weakness. We just uh, use our cane. Boop. Yeah, he's on his back. So this guy's an absolute joke. Poor Lakitu. But we do have a wall over here to fuse with. So let's go down and let's use this one. That'll line up just perfectly. And it's gonna do the same thing that they all these mysterious clouds do. It just makes one of these little pinwheels start spinning. So that's three down and, or no, two down, three to go there. There we go. I got a little bit confused because we, we do have another golden kinstone, but we haven't actually done the third fusion yet. So there we go, that one's done. And the next area I wanna go to, if we go check out the map, it looks like we have two choices. There's like that section to the far left on the bottom and there's a section just right of that. It looks like we can go to, but that is blocked off. I'll try to show that, but we do have to go to the bottom left area. See, so yeah, if we go right over here, it will be blocked off. So we can't go that way. What we have to do is go bottom left here. Just like that. And now we've got more crud to dig. Let's go get our moments back out. Like I said, we're going to be swapping between the moments and the cane quite a lot here. Because the cane is very good for combat and the moments are just kind of required for digging certain things. And get even more mysterious shells. Down here, we get some kidstone action, I guess. But let's do some fast forward. There we go, and now we'll drop down here because we can't go across without doing that. So, in we go. And we've got ourselves some more of these crusts to deal with, so let's get that cane back out. I'm going to try to do the cane into roll attack. Oh, it <laughs> didn't work out so well. Let's try again. Ah, they keep turning back around at me. Oh, they knocked me into the crud! Wow, he tried to go in himself there. That's not going to be what we want. Back down we go, Link. Come on, dude. Let's try this one again. So go ahead and do that. I'm so bad, dude! Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I can't. I can't. They're starting to go in angles and crud. You know, I'm just going to flail. I'm just going to flail. Just jump at me, bro. There we go. I got the double hit there somehow. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's not going to cooperate. Now he, he jumps as soon as I move. There we go. We got it. So right here is a red tornado, but there's going to be another one up here. We have to get past Lakitu, but they're an absolute joke. So there we go. And we confuse this spot. There we go. So that's going to be our third one. But there's another red tornado right next to me. So I'm going to take that one first. We'll take the bottom red tornado second. So there's that. Two more to go. Let's go back. And up we go, dude. 
Man, Ezlo and Link have got to be so dizzy from all that spinning. Well, let's go ahead and open this crud, get ourselves another golden kinstone piece, and open up some more, some more useless cloud bits. Ooh. And back down we go. So we just wanted to go up there to get that golden kinstone piece, but now that we have it, we're done with that part. And we're going to go back over to this one. And this one will have yet another hole, so we just drop right back down. That's all we can do here. Yeah, lots of back and forth up and down with this crud. Let's get back out that cane. Uh, come on. Oh, I missed. Yeah, it's, you got to be pretty precise with your spin attacks, and it's actually pretty hard to line up. When they're traveling in an angle like that, it's pretty tough. As long as they're going straight, it's not too bad. Oh, my gosh, dude. Come on. Oh, I was so close. Got it that time. Awesome. Yeah, these enemies are not that threatening in terms of damage. They can't really hurt us that bad. Oh, I thought I made them drop off. They can't really hurt us that bad, but they are kind of a pain. They're definitely a pain to deal with. And there we go. So if we're killing those two, it will open up another spot. Actually, no, no, no. Not a spot to fuse. Just another golden kinstone. And I think that's the last one we need. So that's pretty handy. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's get back out our crud. Dig through these spots. And up we go. Now, once we're up here, there's going to be more clouds to dig, but... Uh, actually, no, 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 I'm thinking of something else. We'll get to that spot in a minute. Right over here, we've got ourselves more mysterious shells. Now, if we go check, take a look at the map once again, we just want to go to the bottom right there. So it's not too bad. Oh, gosh dang it, Link. Oh, my... All right, back out we go. So now we'll jump into this crud. And over here, this is where there's going to be more clouds to dig. And that spot right there is not going to be a chest. That will be a hole in the ground. So you want to be a little bit careful. If you, if you do want to dig all the spots, you got to do it before you fall in that hole. There we go. Now we're safe to drop down. And right here, we got we got one enemy to deal with. We don't even have to kill him, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just because these guys are evil. And now let's go right back up. So that is one thing you can do as well. Kind of throw the cane at them while they're coming at you, but while they're still a little bit away. So that, they, that way, they kind of drop right in front of you, right in range of your sword, but not on top of your face. So, yeah, again, it just takes some practice, but... They're not too bad. Getting some kinstone action, though. Yeah! Whew. Okay, let's drop down here. And we're almost done with this area. Down here, we're going to have one more mysterious wall to fuse with. And the last one is... Well, it's the first one we saw. It's the one right next to Gale, which is the one of those characters we fused with. So we'll have to go all the way back there. Got to do some backtracking action. Yeah, there's number four. Now, to get back, we're going to have to do a little bit of trickery here. So let's go over this way. And actually, we have to go back up first. And once we're up here, we're going to go to the north, and there's a little tornado we can jump off of, but there's going to be some stuff in the way, so we can't go directly back to where we were. Instead, we're going to have to go to the left here. And from this spot, we don't even need that tornado there. From this spot, we have to do a little bit of digging, and then we could just kind of fly back around. So I'll just hop right into this crud, and I'm going to try to go up and right as quickly as I can. This crud, it doesn't let you turn as easily as you'd think, so sometimes making those turns can be a little tricky, but it looks like I got it. Sit down like that, and we'll drop into this crud. And that'll put us back where we started here. So now, once we do this fusion, we'll have all five done, and we'll see what that gets for us. So there's the final golden kinstone piece. There we go, dude! Take that mysterious cloud! And here we go, guys! What happens when we get all the pinwheels? Well, it's gonna go ahead and open up. A gosh dang, another tornado! Wow! So we took the first big tornado to get up into the clouds. Wow, they just went right for it. They did not hesitate. But we got the first big tornado to bring us up into the clouds. What could be above the clouds? Let's go inside and find out. Whoa! And right up here, we've got a ton of pinwheels. We've got ourselves another wind crest, so we'll go ahead and knock that one down. Hey, we found another wind crest! Uh, yes, we did, Ezlo. Good job for noticing. And right in front of us here. Now, how do you build something like this on top of a cloud? Maybe someone lives inside. If so, perhaps we could ask for the element. It's worth a shot, Link. Well, right here, what stands before us is a very fancy building, a very important building, but we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and we will go inside this building, check out what it is, and maybe even start another dungeon. <laughs> this is not a dungeon, by the way, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.